the world where you hand type code is pretty much over. If you want to call yourself a software engineer, the expectations have changed and you need to make sure that you are changing with them or you're going to be left in the dust. The tractor for programming has pretty much been invented. And now if you're still using pitchforks, you're just going to be outclassed. With that said, I think now is the funnest time to be a programmer and I would recommend everyone to still go into software engineering because this is a wildly fun time. Okay, while we do this video, let's just, you know, do some coding too because that's just like how things work now. So we got a bug here. Pop this in. Come on, paste. I don't think I copied it. Paste it in. Fix this bug. And we'll link the battle state. All right, expectation number one that you should be writing the majority of your code with AI now. Doesn't really matter which one you're using, cursor, codex, Claude, Gemini, open code, et cetera. Use whatever you like. Each one is gonna be better than the other at some point in time in the next few months. And they're just gonna kind of, depending on the release cycle, one's better than the other. But you should be using something. Pay the $20 a month, it is worth it. You need to learn how to use these tools. Uh, they are just so good now. And if you're not able to write good code with these tools, the problem is you, it is no longer the tool. And we don't live in a world where the AI is now just like spitting out a huge mess of code and then you go and sift through it. You should be using the AI to check the AI. All right, it should be writing tests to check the code that it's writing. This doesn't mean you don't check anything. I still go and like check and make sure it works. and. Honestly, sometimes I don't even have it go and write tests if I don't need it to, but it's just so cheap for it to generate things. You should be having it do more work. You have to be thinking differently as a software engineer now that you have this tool that can kind of go and do things for you on your behalf and generate things so quickly. And so you just need to practice letting the AI do more and more work. With that said, you still need to check the code. Like I still skim the code. Sometimes you don't need to if the code is like being checked by tests and you're like pretty happy with the test, but even then I'm gonna read the tests. And it depends if it's an internal tool if I'm using. If I'm making an internal tool now, it's so cheap to make them. I will just generate, go check if it works, bam, go next, next. With that said, it's a little bit of spaghetti code. So, you know, maybe I should tell it to clean itself up once in a while, which you can do and that's great too. Obviously if it's customer facing code, like I'm, I'm, I'm checking the code still and making sure it's not ruining everything but it's just so good now. Lastly, I expect you to write specs with AI and generate the spec with AI, or at least it should help you with it. Um, this is like a great little tweet that went out the other day of like literally a Claude tool that generates a huge question here for you. Use this, just talk with ChatGPT. It doesn't really matter. Use anything to help you generate the specs. Pretty much your entire flow of programming needs to be rethought and repracticed with these tools. Like it is, feels so foreign and weird to use them that you just need to dive in and use them. And if you use them enough, you will get very good and you will be better than if you were not using them. All right, Codex is still working, but I kind of want to wrap up this video. So let's just pretend that it worked and it looked really cool, but it's kind of known for being slow. And this is where, you know, you either do a parallel agent and you do more work at once or you go drink some water or something. All right, that sounded really lame, I guess coffee. Anyway, everything I outlined here is table stakes pretty much for software engineering now. This is the basics, and there's gonna be even more advanced flows and AI stuff that we're gonna be able to do, or if, honestly, probably now if you just dig into things, and it's gonna be more obvious coming very soon. But if you're not doing this, what are you doing?